China said its day of war games around democratically governed Taiwan on Monday was a warning against separatist acts. They have threatened more could be in the offing. Though apparently shorter than previous drills, they were intense in terms of swift simulated attacks and deployment of ships and aircraft. But what was China trying to achieve with these drills? The Chinese military said the drills practice blockading Taiwan's maritime lifeline for imports. It aimed to flex its ability to stop the offloading of crucial liquefied natural gas, or LNG, according to one Chinese military expert in local media. Such a tactic could isolate Taiwan ahead of any full-blown invasion. However, Taiwan's state-run energy company said on Monday LNG imports had been unaffected. Here's the director of defense strategy and resources at Taiwan's top military think tank, Su Ju Yun. This drill was actually not a so-called punishment. Most importantly, China wanted to show the whole world its ambitions and its political goals. This is why we say that this kind of military action by China is 70% political and 30% military. It is mostly a political exercise. This time there was a rather special component, the so-called quarantine or blockade during which they practiced their blockading abilities. This is why Taiwan kept its guard up. So Taiwan a map issued by China's military showed drill zones closer to Taiwan than in previous exercises. For the first time, it included areas within Taiwan's 24-mile contiguous zone. China's Coast Guard, the world's largest by far, also patrolled around the island in unprecedented numbers, according to an analyst. Taiwan officials say use of the Coast Guard is part of a gray zone strategy. It stops short of war, but aims to enforce what China calls its right to manage and control the Taiwan Strait. The drills drew quick condemnation from the Taiwan and the United States governments. But Zhu Yun says the drills are an opportunity for Taiwan to learn formations and Chinese military tactics. And it must also prepare for further tensions in the future. Taiwan has to first strengthen its defensive capabilities, including all kinds of anti-ship missiles and air defense missiles, which is the priority. In this situation, Beijing will not be confident to use force. In other words, only if we stay pessimistic militarily can we really maintain peace.